What is up, 10th graders? My name is Mr. Ryan, for those of you who haven't had me. Um, for those of you who have had me, welcome aboard again. I saw your names in MMS. I'm pretty excited uh, to have you back. And if, if I haven't had you, um, we'll, we'll meet in person really soon and, and uh, get to know each other a little bit. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial for Canvas, for how to navigate Canvas in this course specifically. There's another video that I posted. Mr. Spiker actually did it. It should be up top there in your in your course thread there as well above the modules. So take a look at that video as well. This will just be a, a few minutes. Won't won't be a very long video. So just hang in there with me. I right now I am in the teacher view. Um, so. You know, yours will look a little bit different than this, but they're they're pretty close. So I, I don't think there will, will be too much of an issue there. Um, I'm just going to run you through this view because it's a little bit a little bit easier for me to do it this way. So if you scroll down, when you get to the home page for this course, if you scroll down here to the bottom, um, you'll see that in every week we'll be completing three remote lessons. This week coming up is a short week, of course, to throw another wrench in everything that's going on. So we'll only be completing two lessons remotely this week. Like you'll, you'll complete lesson one and two. And then if you look down here to remote lesson three, it gives you a warning before you do the lesson. It's like you don't have to, it's, you know, it says you don't have to do this, this lesson until the following week. So don't go any further than that. You don't have to do remote lesson three. We'll pick up with plot when, when we come back after, after next weekend. But here are the three remote lessons that you would typically complete in a week. All you have to do to access them is click on the lesson modules. It's going to take you to a page that looks like this. Like I said, there should be a Canvas overview up here at the top. And then you're going to get into the remote lessons. So this whole thing is remote lesson one. Okay, so you'll see it's kind of like gray at the top a little bit here. This is remote lesson one, or yeah, remote lesson one character. You'll see that every lesson, every module, those words are kind of interchangeable here. For every lesson, you'll, you'll do a before, during, and after. So you need to complete all three parts for each lesson. Okay, so you'll see this whole thing is remote lesson one, the whole thing. You have to complete everything that's in there. You'll go down here. Here's remote lesson two. Right? So again, before, during, and after, make sure that you complete all three steps. But the whole thing is all one lesson. There's some things to note here, like this is a page, which usually means that I'm giving you like instructions. Okay? So there's something to read or maybe watch on that page. If you look right here, this thing looks a little bit different. It's a piece of paper with a little pencil beside it. This is an assignment. That means that you have to submit something to me. So you're either, in, in a lot of cases, I just have you do a text box, like you just type a response and submit it to me. But there will also be some things that I need you to print out and complete and bring to class so that we can review them. Um, if that becomes a problem or whatever, you know, come and talk to me and we'll, we'll address it. Um, but... That's a pretty pretty basic overview of Canvas. There's some some fine tuning navigation stuff over here on the left hand side, uh, but the the menu and all of that stuff is over there on the left hand side. You can kind of play around with it and and do whatever you need to do. Um, if there's any other concerns or problems that you have, you can email me or we'll talk about it when we meet face to face.